A local farm and park is ready for the fall season, kicking off the month of October with two days of family fun. Fox 55's Drew Fry explains how the city-owned farm hopes to entertain and educate kids this weekend. Tractors, buggies, and carts carry kids around Solomon Farm Park Friday morning. On the first day of October, Farm Supervisor Larry Hicks has an array of activities and demonstrations set up for families, celebrating the season with the fall festival. Just the harvest of the corn and the beans, you know, everybody likes to see the tractors out running. It's, it's fun to watch that, and um, it's just, it's great out here at Solomon Farm. It's peaceful, you know, we have a lot of walking trails on the back. And this fall festival is about more than just corn and pumpkins, though there is plenty of that. Field trips and family day trips are helping teach kids about the history of early 1900s farming. It's all kind of based on the, the farming in the 30s, you know, the equipment we have out here, and just to show them, you know, some of the, the older equipment and how maybe tough farming was back in those days. That equipment is precisely what caught Alyssa Bornheimer's eye as she pulled into the fall festival with her kids and friend. As we drove in and saw the tractors, um, we had the opportunity to talk about how this actually would have been a farm. We've visited here lots of times, but to see it actually things moving on the farm is um, a cool opportunity compared to just seeing pumpkins and, you know, other fall things. And while Bornheimer is a returning guest, Hicks says many who stop by may be first time visitors. So he wants to let them know Solomon Farm, now run by the city as a park, is open outside of today and tomorrow's fall festival as well. We have a few miles, you know, of trails that loop around and um, we have an area back in some woods and, and you know, there's just a lot of people that don't know what we are here and, and that you're welcome here from 6 to 11, seven days a week. And new to the festival this year, a U-Pick Sunflower Garden, which Hicks hopes will continue to expand in the future. In Fort Wayne, I'm Drew Fry, Fox 55 News. That farm will cap off its fall festival tomorrow with an antique tractor parade at noon and at a farmer's market as well. That park will be open from 10 to 5 and admission is free as well.